Hi everyone, it's Kurt with Hypnodyne. Uh, let's take a look at the new video features uh, in the ZMAX system. So, you are probably already familiar with uh, HD Recorder. That's what I'm looking at right now. It's got my EEG over here and my movement here in the green. The PPG wave, a little bit deformed now because I'm moving, uh, speaking. And that's the, uh, that's the noise that, uh, for, from me speaking. Uh, the new icon here says video. And what that's going to do is uh, create a list of the webcams uh, connected to the system, uh, which you can choose. If you choose the webcam, then you can also choose the resolution and the frame rate. Uh, here, clearly, there's a drawback. Uh, if, you, if you're going to record a whole night, you don't want a very high frame rate because it's going to just take up a lot of space on your hard drive. Uh, the interesting part of this is that the webcam that this is listing is not necessarily the webcam that's installed on your PC. Uh, those webcams are coming directly from the server. And uh, the system is able to uh, send this list of webcams through TCP IP over the Internet. And, uh, and also the frames are passed through the Internet. So you can be uh, monitoring somebody who is remote to you. So when you click start video, we've got the video here in the background for you to see what's going on now. The webcam is just uh, randomly sitting on my computer, so it's not showing anything, but it doesn't matter. You, you, you can click store on disk as usual, and now it's uh, recording everything. Uh, interestingly, it's um, not really recording each frame. It's only recording frames that are signific significantly different from the previous frame. Uh, the idea is to be able to capture subtle movements, but at the same time, you don't want to have gigabytes of data in the morning that you have to uh, store on your computer. So having seen this, let's move to an actual recording of, um, of data that I just acquired with this system. Uh, here is how it's visualized in uh, HD Scorer. Uh, so this is a very short recording, so the uh, spectrogram at the top is, uh, is not something you need to be interested in because, of course, with uh, just a few minutes of recording, it's not going to produce any significant result. Also, I'm not sleeping in this recording, so the EEG and everything is just uh, you know, all over the place. It doesn't matter. The point is that when you open this recording, and you can turn it on and off, but when you open the recording uh, and it has video in it, then you're able to scroll through the frames by either hovering the mouse over the frames themselves or the, uh, the data itself. So, for example, let's, um, let's find a place of possible interest, like here. You want to know what happened here, so you can move with your cursor prior to the movement and then go through it and come back. It's very, very fast and responsive. All the frames are stored in uh, JPEG format, so in the spirit of the uh, open data uh, system of ZMAX, uh, you have access to all this uh, video information. And um, the compression is actually better than video because, for example, you see that I'm moving through these things. And uh, take a look at the time on the frame versus the time that's shown on the cursor. For example, the cursor has 31 seconds and, 30, uh, and 32, is it? Yeah, 31 seconds and 32, uh, what was it? I guess that would be hundredths of a second, yeah. Anyway, 31.30 31 point, 31 .30 seconds is where we're at, but the frame is showing 30.30 30 seconds. That's because there's no movement whatsoever here, so we're not capturing frames. You got one small movement here. It captured that subtle movement of the body, probably from the breathing. And then when you go through this, you will see that now it's acquiring a lot of frames. So this is a way of saving space on the hard drive. It's only capturing images when the image itself is, cha is changing. And you can see exactly what's going on. Now, this is a very cheap webcam. This is actually just a regular Chinese webcam I'm not even sure if it's HD. It's probably not HD. Uh, it's like really, really cheap. But the good part is that it got fitted with six infrared LEDs. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to stock this or not, but generally speaking, any webcam can be turned into a, a night vision webcam by removing the infrared filter. 
but then you need some source of infrared light. So this now that you're seeing, this was acquired in uh, total darkness, complete darkness. If we move to the beginning of the recording, this is when the light is on. So what I do first is to switch the light off. So this is what you get. And then I switch off the monitor. And then you get this. So at this point, it's totally dark. So this is a very cool way of uh, having video. Uh, and the, the video itself is sy synchronized to the sample. So it is very, very good synchronization between the video frame and the, uh, and the data. And you can see here an overview, you know, kind of like, uh, like video editing programs. And then as you, as you scroll through, then it shows you very, very fast, very, very responsive. All right. That's all we've got for today. Thanks for watching.